Hey, what's going on, everybody? This is Sports Day TV presents the Coastal Bros. Uh, this is Joey Two Wallets coming in. Uh, it's been a while. Uh, had to take care of some stuff. Um, today, I really just want to talk about one thing. Like, seriously. The Washington, I'm not going to say their name. Uh, I just don't believe in saying that name. I really don't. So the Washington NFL program, um, their owner, Dan Snyder, who uh, I personally just believe is kind of trashy, trashy, I guess you could say, uh, I just think that he's a real... Like, I can't believe he still owns an NFL program. Like, honestly, I think he's the NFL's version of Donald Sterling. But that being said, um, just looking, just looking more into why I'm making this episode, which is about Jay Gruden. Um, I actually believe if Alex Smith doesn't get hurt, if Alex Smith doesn't get hurt, they're not 0-5. That is not a bad football team at all. Um, I actually think they have really good coaching. They just have injuries. And why they drafted Haskins? Look, this is partly about Haskins, too. Let's just keep it real. If Haskins was good enough, he would have beaten out Old Boy for a starting quarterback, but he's not good enough. Um, if anybody here honestly thinks that Dwayne Haskins is better than Colt McCoy, Who's hurt and ain't played all year? Raise your hand. Uh, all right, don't hit me. Don't hit me. All right, all right, all right. All right, I see all the hands. All right, don't trip. He's not better than Colt McCoy. He, he really ain't. Um, and then we go to the starting quarterback. Come on. The Minnesota Miracle guy? That guy? Nah. Not better than him either. And the only reason why Cole McCoy didn't start is because he's hurt. So Haskins is a first-round draft pick, first-string quarterback. First-round pick, third-string quarterback. That's sad. That's very, very sad. Um, well, I mean, it's not sad. I mean, he got drafted in the first round. That's great for him. But, dude, he – I thought Lamar Jackson, who I, I'm not high up on Lamar Jackson. I know. Don't – okay, don't throw stuff at me. All right? I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. No, I'm, just, I'm not playing, actually. I'm not high up on Lamar Jackson yet. Um, I have seen a difference from year one to year two, and I didn't think he'd make that much of a leap. Um, everybody said he's Michael Vick 2.0. No. That dude doesn't have half the arm that Michael Vick had. He might be just as accurate. I think their accuracy is about even. Lamar Jackson may have him a little bit, just a little bit in the accuracy. Um, I mean, if you're asking me, Michael Vick is a Hall of Fame quarterback who scared the league. Deion Sanders scared the league. Michael Vick scared the league. Jerry Rice scared me. There's certain players that scared the league when they came of age in the NFL. When I mean came of age, I mean fully developed. Randy Moss scared the league. There are certain players that scared the league that deserve to be in the Hall of Fame. Okay? To me, I still have T.O. above Randy Moss, but that's another argument for another day. Again, John J. Gruden. I actually 
actually think Jay Gruden is a really, really good coach. Um, for everybody thinking that he should go to Oakland and join his brother, get that out of your mind. I hope he gets a real chance at a real team within a couple of years. Um, Jay Gruden proved that if he has a consistent quarterback, that he can run a franchise fairly easily. I mean, let's just keep it real. The only reason why Jay Gruden got fired is because the Redskins... Oops, sorry. Sorry. Apologize. Apologize. It's because the Washington organization is horrible. Like, seriously. It starts with Dan Snyder and then their general manager, okay. They're, he's okay at best. I think, honestly, the most genius thing he ever did was trading for Alex Smith and signing Adrian Peterson. I know people might look at that and be like, huh? Yeah, the smartest thing that GM ever did was sign Adrian Peterson, got him cheap, and got Alex Smith. I mean, seriously, I mean, what's really, really wrong with, with, with Jay Gruden? Like, I really want to know, because, like, it's not a problem. I want to see what he really did wrong. Okay, he's 0-5 this year. Yeah, he's got a boatload of injuries. The Redskins got hit with the injury bug. Think about it. With a less talented Redskins team, he took that team to the playoffs one year. He, I, to me, to me, he overachieved with that team. I'm going to be doing a little bit more of these coming up. I'm going to get with my brother soon. And we're going to be cranking out these uh, Coastal Bro videos. With all the baseball popping off, you can go ahead and take a look at Here Comes a No-Hitter. Uh, Here Comes a No-Hitter. It's, it's a good podcast. It's a good podcast. I've had a lot of things going on, so I'm trying to keep my show afloat. But triple dot, but either way, we're all under the Sports Daddy TV brand that we have built and that we are going forward with. Either way, this is going out to all of our YouTubers. If you're new, keep watching. We're going to have new content. We're going to talk about old stuff. We're going to talk about new stuff. Either way, tomorrow, tomorrow, I'm going to be talking about the XFL. I'm going to be talking about coaches. I'm going to be talking about players. We're going to be talking about presidents. I mean, we got a lot of exciting people in the XFL already, and it's not even started yet. The pictures are out. The logos are up. I am super stoked about the XFL. Tune in tomorrow. Oh, yeah. I don't know if I'm going to do another freeway episode, as y'all can hear. But, oh, yeah. Stay close attention for Here Comes a No-Hitter and hang loose for the XFL chat tomorrow. Holla at your boy. This is Joey Two Wallets. Let me break up out your phone. <laughs>